Rachel said that she so appreciates Ramsey's relentless chase for the Lord and that he helps me to be the best version of myself. But then Ramsey's, and they didn't even talk to each other about this. He said, she challenges me to be the man God wants me to be and helps me grow into a better man every day. Some people are born into a big family, some to a small family. Not everyone is gifted a second family, but even fewer are gifted a sister. Rachel and I's journey began when we were just two years old. Our moms were both working as nurses. They moved their shifts around, so only one of them would be scheduled, while the other one watched the two of us. From early age on, all I knew was Rachel and Maddie, Maddie and Rachel. We did just about everything together. We wore the same clothes, multiple matching outfits. <laughs> we played basketball. We even started up our own bathroom cleaning services, the Scrub and Duckies. Our moms were our only clients. <laughs> So Ramses calls me, says, Dr. Ramsey, I'd like to take you out for coffee. Now I love coffee, I'm at coffee shops daily. The entire time I've known Ramses, he has never ever asked me to go out for coffee. So I go, all of a sudden we're going out for coffee. He goes, I'd like to talk to you. And I said, about what? The Bible says to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And you see that all over the place in the Bible. Jesus said it all the time. It should be easy to turn towards one another and set each other free. I want to thank Rachel Rams for allowing me to be a part of this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I want to thank the Lewises and the Ramses for creating these two beautiful people and bringing us together for this moment. One day, while Rachel was in high school, I saw a backpack that she had decorated in her very artsy, crafty way with multiple color inks. And on that backpack, it said, someday my prince will come. With a scripture reference of John 14.3. That someday is today. Our princess has found her earthly prince, and their story is just now being written. So please join me in a toast to Rachel and Ramses as we wish them a long and happy and blessed. So be on mission together. There's some reason he has you together to impact people that are in your corner of the world that we don't even know about yet. But I'm excited because of what I know about you, what I know about you, what I've learned about your people, and God's brought you to this moment so that you can have an impact on others. Don't forget that. I think part of the reason why people even kind of get bored with each other, just get so inward focused, is they forget that there's some reason outside of us that we were brought together. So that's a bonus that I'm throwing out to you. And that's, I said I wasn't going to talk long. You know I got about 100 other things I want to say. And I'm not going to do that to you or to you. We're going to go about the business of getting you married. You ready to do that?
Our love for each other is grounded in God's love for us. And a belief that he brought us together to become something we would never be on our own. It's that understanding of God's love that has made our relationship strong, joyful, and forever grown. Today starts a new chapter of our lives together. I can't wait. I understand that love isn't always butterflies and good feelings, but it's a choice to cling to the covenant that we are making to one another today, no matter what challenges may come. Rachel, you are beautiful, smart, and more than anything, you complete my best friend. And you make, you make, him, you make him a better man. And for that, I love you like I love him. So cheers to my best friend for finding his best friend. I love you. So before God, our family and friends, I vow first and foremost to make sure Christ remains the center of our relationship. I'm committed to making sure that I am rooted and grounded in God's love so that I may lead you in a healthy way. I vow to work on being a good listener and to have an open mind. Your thoughts, your feelings, and your input, they're valuable to me. I vow to be the most affirming voice in your life, your beauty, your work ethic, your loving heart, and other God-given attributes are noticed. I vow to continue to date you, making our relationship a priority no matter what life brings our way. I will continue to look for new ways to keep the adventure alive and our relationship fun. I vow to tell you I love you daily. I vow to be forgiving and patient. I vow to make communication a priority. There's so many other things I could commit to doing, but in a nutshell, I vow to stay by your side come hell or high water. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just proud to know Ramsey and especially the person he's grown into and become. Uh, Ramsey is the type of person to go after the things he wants, from going to school, playing ball, being a better person, being a better son, being a better brother, and now being a great husband. Got good, ain't he? Ramsey desired a wife. He desired a person that he can put his all into. And the things that you desire, desire you. So a toast to Rachel Ramsey. As I take on this role to be your wife, I vow to you today that I will be with you through it all, the good times and the bad. When life gets overwhelmingly hard and we struggle to see a way through, I vow to stay by your side as your wife and as your friend. I promise to relentlessly seek to grow into the spouse Christ has called me to be and to grow in Christ with you because without him we are nothing. I promise to give you Christ-like grace, love, patience, and forgiveness to trust you and to remain faithful to you. I promise to be your teammate for life and be a shoulder for you to lean and cry on when the weight of this world is too much to bear. Today I make this covenant vow in front of God, family, and friends to be your wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until Christ calls us home. I pray that you keep the Lord in the center of your union. I wish you nothing but eternal love and bliss. There's truly no better pairing, none equally is yoked, May you always hold steadfast to this love. To Mr. and Mrs. Larry Beanie.
by the authority granted to me as a minister of the gospel of Christ, I declare that Ramses and Rachel are now husband and wife. According to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Whom therefore God has joined together, let no one break apart. May the grace of Christ guide you and the love of God surround you. The Holy Spirit keep you that you may live and abound in hope and grow in love, both now and forevermore. Amen. Ramses, good restraint. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs>